It's this group of tailless whipped scorpions. We have found evidence of existing far before the time of the dinosaurs. How crazy is that? My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. In today's video, we dive into a corner of the animal kingdom that is often overlooked or sometimes even completely avoided. That's right, today we're taking a look at the creepiest and crawliest of the arthropod world, arachnids. These bizarre invertebrates are equipped with a variety of body plans, from the somewhat familiar to the downright bizarre. Our adventure today takes us much closer to the bizarre end of the spectrum as we search for tailless whip scorpions. These primitive arachnids are definitely one of the weirdest looking animals to come across. But what are these animals really like? Are they dangerous? Can they bite? Let's find out together. Now what we're doing today is we're just kind of poking around, flipping rocks and logs and things like that to find one of these very interesting invertebrates. And hopefully, as you can see, this is some ample habitat. This is a good environment. It's a nice, mild day. So I'm hoping that we're gonna have some luck finding one of these amazing tailless whip scorpions or amblypigids. So let's get looking. Hopefully, we can find some. Now, these animals are incredibly secretive in nature and they are very difficult to find out and about, especially during the day. These animals prefer tiny, dark spaces or the cover of night to move around, so we have to be extra cautious not to spook any potential amblypigids that we might come across before we're able to put our eyes on them. Oh, oh I got one, I got one. Okay. Now the trick is going to be catching it without it apparating. Okay, these are very quick. Careful. Come on. Come on, the mosquitoes don't help. Come on. Whoa. There you are. Shoot. You're fast. leaf. Easy peasy. <sighs> so we pull our leaf out and what is revealed, it's fantastic. Tailless whip scorpion. This is a pretty good sized one here. Lovely, lovely, lovely little arachnid. Take a look there, folks. So stinking cool. As you can see, they were wicked fast. Sort of difficult to, to capture in this little container here. But these are fascinating arachnids. And I say arachnids because these are arachnids. They're related to vinegaroons. They're related to scorpions, to spiders. So they actually have eight legs. Now you might look at them and think, I'm not seeing eight legs there. Well, that's because these two antenna-like appendages that these amblypigids have, these tailless whip scorpions have, act much like antenna, but they are actually legs. Oh, wow, this is such a cool little creature. So fast. Now they're perfectly adapted to living under things like rocks or living in caves because they've got those long feelers. They can feel for prey or potential predators and they can escape very quickly. 
Now, unlike some, some other of their arachnid cousins, these do not possess any type of venom or venomous bite or sting. Uh, so they are very quick to flee at the first sign of danger, once again, that, that those antenna can alert them to. So they are very, very speedy. But take a look at that. It's so, so, so cool. We're going to try and get it out to get some cool shots of it, but I just wanted to show you all just how interesting these little whip scorpions are, tailless whip scorpions. Now, although they might not seem formidable, these animals are masterful hunters. They use those sensitive antenna-like legs to help locate prey, and then they use those sharp, thorny pedipalps, those raptorial legs to grapple their food, and then they use tiny little mouth parts to slice it up and cut it into tiny pieces for them to eat and digest it. These are immaculate, tiny insect predators. They are feeding on the small insects and other arthropods that they can get those spiky pedipalps onto. Truly an arachnid marvel in terms of speedy and efficient hunting. Take a look right here, folks. Beautiful little amblypicket. Oh, they're so neat so 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 bizarre you can see those those front two legs there are like antenna and they just kind of work to sense the world around them then they have these little uh raptorial pincer like uh, uh pedipalps and that's actually how they're snagging their prey so they can't sting you or bite you or anything like that but they can kind of grasp you with those sharp thorny raptorial legs uh, and that would feel much like a small praying mantis such a cool little creature. Now, at first glance, you might think, Jack, I thought, I thought that that was just like a Harry Potter creature or something. I didn't know that these were actually real, real animals in the real world. Well, they are. Um, in fact, fun fact, the, the creature that the Cruciatus curse in the Goblet of Fire um, is used on is a 3D model of a Ambly Piggit, a tailless whip scorpion. So you might think, oh, it looks so alien. It looks like a magical creature. Well, that might have been planted in your mind uh, from that bit of media, uh, but they really are, when you look at them, they really are quite strange, quite alien looking creatures. But like I said, completely harmless, not something to be worried about, not something to be afraid of, but something to appreciate and admire because they are so neat. Now, without the help of a venomous bite or a painful sting to defend itself, these animals suffer a variety of predators. Anything from lizards to frogs to birds to even larger arthropods will make a quick and easy snack of these little invertebrates. So they have to be sneaky. That's why you really only see these animals in tiny cracks and crevices or under the cover of night because that is where they seek refuge. That is where they stay safe. And that is where we have to appreciate these interesting little invertebrates. Okay, take one last look at this amazing little amblypigid, this tailless whip scorpion. Once again, a harmless creature that you don't need to fear, you don't need to be worried about, uh, but an interesting and ancient arachnid uh, to appreciate and respect. So cool. We're going to let this uh, lovely little creature get back under its rock here that we found it under. Take a look at the speed here. Look at that. So, so, so fast. That's awesome. All right, we had a great time filming that absolute marvel of an arachnid, but my friends, our time has come to an end. So if I leave you with anything, let me leave you with this. Remember that even the most unique, interesting, or perhaps even dangerous animals on earth are deserving of both respect and appreciation. You don't necessarily have to like these creatures to appreciate that they serve an important role in the ecosystems to which they belong. So I hope that I was able to impart some wisdom to you, some knowledge about these really cool uh, invertebrates, and I hope that you had a great time watching. So thank you all so much for supporting the channel through your view. If you'd like to support the channel even further, uh, check out the video description to find certain links on how to maybe perhaps 
fund some trips and other things like that. Uh, but other than that, I'm so glad that you guys were able to tune in. I hope that you learned something and I'll see you next time.